Hey everyone and welcome to another quick tutorial with Django. In this video I'm going to show you how to archive your models. So let's not waste time and start by creating a new project named my site and inside the project create a new app named posts. After that as always open settings.py and click the app inside installed apps and then configure templates just, just to show the HTML stuff. Once you are done, open models.py and the trick happens here. So basically I'm going to create a base model and after that we will need two more models. The, the first one will the original post model and the second one for archive model. What's the point? The point is we will inherit the properties from our base class to subclasses. So we don't need to duplicate our code. Uh, in other words, we don't need to create post model with fields for example title and description and again create archive model with the same fields. With inheritance we can reuse our code and keep it clean. Alright, let's create the base model and I will name it base post model. Then add meta class and set abstract true that will generate tables for our subclasses. I want to make it very simple so title and description is enough for now. Next, create a post model and it's going to inherit the properties from our base class. We don't need to add any fields here. So just typing pass is enough. After that, create archive post model and we will apply same logic here as well. Once you are done, don't forget to migrate your models and let's jump into views and start by importing the models. Ok, now we will implement archive post function. It takes post id, so we are going to use get object or 404 function to get particular post model. Then create instance of post archive class named archive underscore post. Basically we are going to copy this object into archive post model. So let's iterate fields of post by using post dot underscore meta dot fields. It will get all fields of particular post object and then we will use set attribute function to assign the values for our instance. This function takes three arguments, object, variables and values. In our case, the object is instance of post archive class, uh, which is archive underscore post, and the variables are the fields of the post archive class. By using get attribute function, we can access the value of all fields in particular object. So we can use it as a last argument of set attribute function. Now we just copied the object from post to archive post model. Let's add archive view to see all archived posts in our template. Finally, configure URLs and then we just need to add very simple design to our project.
I'm not going to explain this part in detail because it's HTML and CSS stuff. Um, so let's let's quick finish this part. All right, now we can run our project. There is nothing to show because we need to add some data in admin. Uh, let's let's create super user and add some dummy dummy data there. Now we have archive and post page. Well, when I click the archive button and let's see, yes, it's it, it, it's now inside the archive. I will add few more posts and test them. Alright this that's all for now, I hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Um, you can find source code in the description of this video. Um, well, see you soon devs and stay connected.